Here in lesson three, we're gonna be talking about leadership skills. It's something that you need to know because it's something that you're going to embrace and add to your toolkit as a leader. You need to know how to distinguish good leadership skills from someone who doesn't have it at all that you happen to work for. And remember, you are at a competitive advantage when you understand what leadership skills are so you can apply them in your daily life, not only at work, but at home as well. So let's get started. One of the best leadership skills that's out there is one of creativity. You have to be creative in whatever you're doing. No matter what industry, creativity is king or queen. And they're king or queen because you would be called on to be creative to solve problems at the organization you work for or the company you lead. So creativity is number one. Another one, and I talked about a little bit earlier with, with the qualities of a good leader, but positivity. Nothing can beat a positive person. They go on and on and on. They're very tough to stop. But when you have a positive person, no matter what challenge they run into, they find a way to resolve it. They find a way to keep moving forward and they bring others along with them. So positively is a wonderful leadership skill to have. One of my favorites is motivation. I stay motivated, so self-motivation is one of the most important that you can have. And then when you are motivated, you can motivate others along your journey. So while you're using your leadership influence, you can bring in this leadership skill to add even more value because motivation helps move people forward. And even if they get stuck, they can get unstuck and they can do that through motivation to keep everyone at an up level, keep everyone uh, moving forward and progressing as they go along their journey. And another really great leadership skill is that one of feedback. Being able to provide feedback to others is very important, especially in today's workforce, because employees want more engagement with their managers and their leaders. And given the fact that a lot of people are working remote, it's even more important to give feedback. I don't know about you, but when I was in the military or at Mobile Oil Company, I received an annual review of my performance. But nowadays, what's happening is leaders and managers are given feedback on a more routine basis, sometimes every three weeks, sometimes two or three times a quarter, but it's not an annual so people can keep up with what they're doing. For example, in the past, I would take out a team of consultants, about 12 people, we would go to a contractor's facility, and we'd try to find out if they could actually perform the contract, deliver the product. Can they do it within the budget? Can they do it in time? Do they have enough employees equipped to do the work? Can they provide us with the data we need to keep a continuous assessment? And in the end, can they deliver the product that we need on behalf of the American taxpayer? And so we would have to provide feedback to the general. And I was, was on a more frequent basis because a contract is worth over $3 billion. And so it's more imperative that we had routine and regular feedback. And that's what's taking place today in today's day's workforce. And the employees, they are expecting uh, more feedback because they want to know how they're performing. And remember, employees have more choices today than they used to. And another great leadership skill is communication. When you can communicate a clear message, then everybody understands for example, if we use, use um, an example of a survey that took place and everyone, the, and one person knew the answer to the, the survey at the end, what the end answer should be, and you have 10 people sitting around a table. So the first person whispers to the second person alongside them, and then they repeated the third person all the way up to the 10th person. By the time that answer got to the person in the 10th, the particular response has changed. <laughs> I've been through that exercise before. So it lets you know that feedback and communication is very important. In many ways, they go hand in hand. And it's something that you definitely want to be able to do and keep that as one of your leadership skills. And understand that all of these things that I'm talking about, the qualities in the previous lesson and the leadership skills in this section, 
all adds value to you as an employee in your leadership position. Because remember, a leader is not a leader because of their title, because a manager can lead and an employee can as well. But when we give them these opportunities to actually perform some leadership duties, that's when it becomes more important. So you want to hold on to your leadership skills and ensure that you do more research. So I'm challenging you to do more research on some other leadership skills that one can possess and not only learn them and keep a little note on it, observe the leaders that are in your organization, those that you're employed by, uh, the managers that you have, and then do an assessment on yourself. Also, uh, what I want you to do is to apply them. That's the key to all of this. Once you apply it, you're on your way. Success is yours and you become a very a valuable a part of your team in your organization. And people will always call on you. And the reason why they call on you is why? Because they know they're going to get their best results because they know that you would do the work and they know that you have the leadership skills to perform that work. So let's move forward on to the next lesson. I'll see you on the other side. And don't forget, good leadership skills make all the difference. See you on the other side.